Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss the exercises which I have given in previous lecture and some other logical operators. Now look at this. Here P, Q and R with the propositions given as P I go to market, Q I buy a pen, R I watch a movie. And we have to write the propositions for these sentences. So look at this. I do not go to market. So this is the negation of this one P. So here you will write negation of P. And so and operator is there. This is and I do not buy a pen. Buy a pen. This is denoted by Q. So this is negation of Q. Next one. If I buy a pen, this is conditional. I buy a pen. This is denoted by Q. So this is Q implies. If I buy a pen, then I do not watch a movie. I watch a movie. This is R. The negation of this one. This is negation of. Now look at this. I go to market, but I do not watch a movie. So now, if you see this, this but this is basically a synonym for and. I go to market, and I do not watch a movie. So I go to market. This is P, and I do not watch a movie. This is negation of R. Next one. If I do not go to market and do not buy a pen, from this part to this part, this is the condition. So this complete this one is condition. It means if I do not go to market, it means this is negation of P, and I do not buy a pen, and I do not buy a pen. Negation of Q. This is the condition. Now the conclusion is then I do not watch a movie. So this is negation of R. Next one, watching a movie is necessary for me to go market and buy a pen. So watching a movie. This part is necessary, you know. In conditional statement, right hand side part is necessary for the left hand side part. So this part, watching a movie R, will be in the right hand side R. So you will write in this way. This necessary part, necessary part, and this part is this part will be written left hand side to go market and buy a pen. I go to market. This is not by P and this is Q. So here you will write P and Q. This implies r this is necessary for p and q going to market is sufficient now here this is sufficient condition and you know the left hand side part of condition is a sufficient condition so going market this is p is this sufficient condition this is sufficient p implies for me to buy a pen and watch a movie buy a pen this is q and watch a movie this is r so p implies q and r Now next one, neither I go to market nor I buy a pen. If you see this, neither nor. Basically, this is negation and and. So I do not go to market and I do not buy a pen. So I do not go to market. This is negation of P and I do not buy a pen and negation of Q. So in this way, you can write propositions for these sentences. Here, this is exercise number two. P, Q, and R are the same propositions. Now we have to write sentences for the given propositions. So first one is this one. Look at this. This is P implies Q and R. So P is condition. Q and R. This is the conclusion. So how can we write it? If I go to market, then I buy a pen and watch a movie. So you can write it in this way. Next one. Negation P and negation Q. Here this is condition. This is conclusion. So you can write it. I If I do not go to market and do not buy a pen, then I watch a movie. So here you can write in this way: I, if I do not go to market and do not buy a pen, then I watch a movie. Third one, look at this. This is P and Q or R. If you consider this as a one, so this is either this one or this one. So you can write it either I go to market and buy a pen or I watch a movie. I have used either word is or. I simply, if you use or, then it may possible it will be confusing. So better to write it either than put this whole as one or this one. So you can write this in this way. Either I go to market and buy a pen, or I watch a movie. So that this will be a one part. Next one, P and Q and R. So. Simply and is there, so you can write. I go to market and I buy a pen and I watch a movie. So this can be written in this way. Now next one, P or Q implies R. So P or Q, 
means if I go to market or I buy a pen, so this is the conditional part, then I watch a movie. So here you can write it, if I go to market or buy a pen, then I watch a movie. In exercise 3, P is given as 2 plus 3 equal to 5, Q, Mumbai is the capital of India, R is 12 divided by 3. Now we have to check the truth values of these propositions. So first we check these propositions, P 2 plus 3, 5, this is true, Q, Mumbai is the capital of India, this is false and next one R, 12 is divisible by 3, this is true. Now we check this, P implies Q, so P is true, it means this is true. Conclusion Q is false. So whenever conclusion is false, this is true. So this means this is false. So this one is false. Next one P or Q. Look at this P is true. Q is false. But P or Q, if one of the two variables is true, it means this is true. And this R is true. So true, true. This is condition is true. Next one P and Q. P is true. Q is false. So this one is false. This is true. You know, when this Condition is false, this is true, this is true. P by conditional Q, P by conditional Q. Look at this, this is truth value of P is true, this is false. When you know, when both of these propositions have opposite signs, then this is false. Next one, P or Q by conditional R. So P or Q, look at this, P is true, this is false, but P or Q, this will be true. And R is also true. So both have same sign, this means this is so in this way, you can write the truth values of all these propositions. Now we will define some other logical operators. The first one is exclusive OR. If you remember in previous case when we discussed P or Q, OR, that is disjunction, then we said that this is either P or Q or both. But here when we are talking about exclusive OR, this third case or both, is excluded. It means when we are talking about exclusive or we are simply saying either P or Q but not both. So this is exclusive or means this third case or both is removed. So you can make a truth table. So simply when both of these truth value uh, to P and Q both the truth values are true then we have to exclude this case. It means this is false. Otherwise if one of the two values is true this will be true. This last when both are false, this is false. Otherwise, except this case, the truth table is same as the disjunction. So we have to exclude this case. It means when both are true, this is false. So exclusive or is either or either P or Q, but not both. Next one is NAND. This is basically not of and negation negation not of p and q so first you can write the truth values of p and q then you can find the negation and it's very easy to write the truth table so you can check first find the truth values of p and q then find its negation so in this way you can find the truth table of net similarly next one is nor this is basically not of or here you will see this is not negation of p or q and similarly first you will find the truth values of p or q then you will negate it so you will get this truth table now one important thing converse contrapositive and inverse of conditional statement suppose p and q are two propositions for this statement p implies q the converse is q implies p contrapositive is negation q implies negation p and inverse is negation p implies negation now look at this example, suppose P, I go to market and Q, I buy a pen. So the converse of this will be Q implies P, means this implies P. If I buy a pen, then I go to market. So you can write it, if I buy a pen, then I go to market. Now contrapositive, negation Q implies negation P. That is, if I do not buy a pen, then I do not go to market. So look at this, this is the contrapositive. Next one, inverse is negation P implies negation Q. So simply negation P implies negation Q. If I do not go to market, then I do not buy a pen. So in this way, you can write converse, contrapositive and inverse of a given proposition. So I hope that you got the concepts of all these other logical operators and converse, contrapositive and inverse. 
next lecture we will discuss tautology uh, contradiction and other things